You're ruining the show. Thank you for clapping for what my parents are ashamed of. Oh, San Francisco. Yes. Oh, my third favorite city to do comedy in. Huh? That's not bad, right? Top 10. Congratulations. Uh, more butt fucking per square foot than in any place in the world. That's you guys. That's you. Put that on your postcards. San Francisco, more butt fucking per square foot. Miss you. All right. Now, if you've never seen me perform before, I am not good live. Heads up. If I offend anybody tonight, I apologize. That's not my intention. I'm not gonna guess what your personal line of decency is. I cross my own from time to time. It's how I know I still have one. I have no problem with illegal immigration in this country, except for the fact that they don't serve on jury duty. That's horse shit. It should be the other way around. They should serve exclusively on jury duty. Yeah. Then it finally would be a jury of one's own peers. It's not a stereotype if it's always true. Yeah, then it becomes law. That joke is called Latinos are criminals. That's just the title, it doesn't mean anything. Sometimes before I walk on stage, my girlfriend may say, have a good show, break a leg. This is what she said to me a few weeks ago, right before I walked on stage. She goes, hey, you ever worry about getting shot when you're out there? I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? She followed it with, you should move around more. Uh, you should go back to reading your vampire books. I should move around more? As if a sniper would get frustrated. Like, I can't keep up, he lives. <laughs> you ever scratch your girl from the hangnail and pretend you're Wolverine? <laughs> She's like, knock it off. And I'm like, you made me like this. <laughs> then you run into the woods, you're naked, you gotta figure things out. Where'd you come from? Why are you wearing dog tags? Did I serve? <laughs> A lot of times people complain that their significant other takes too long to get ready to go out at night. I've never had that complaint. And I think it's because I never want to go anywhere. <laughs> so I could care less how long it takes her to get ready. That's just less time I have to spend with her horrible friends pretending I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. She'll take an hour and a half to get ready, come down and be like, oh my goodness, you were so patient. And I'll be like, for what? You look disgusting. <laughs> right? Yeah, now she's crying, whatever, I bought myself an extra two hours to watch the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not like she's gonna break up with me. She's 10 years younger, she's one opinion away from being replaced. <laughs> I can say that, I have a television show. Yeah, the power in our household has shifted dramatically. Now, if you're following me on Twitter, you know I had diarrhea today. Am I using that website properly? <laughs> Sometimes I like to sit on the toilet reverse. <laughs> We're listening. It's nice, right? You can turn around, you can lean on the tank. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while. Yeah, the people that are clapping right now, the ones like, okay, all kidding aside, he is a genius. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the simplicity. I've been sitting on that thing my whole life. You're telling me I could turn around, have a bowl of cereal, yeah, set the alarm 10 minutes later, multitask. All right, nobody should eat while on the toilet. But I'm lactose intolerant, I've always wanted enjoy a bowl of puffins with whole milk. It's more of an almond milk cereal, but live your dream. Somebody emailed me and they're like, hey, dipshit, 
uh, which for the record is a wonderful subject line if you ever want me to read your emails. <laughs> oh, let's see what this nice fan has to say. <laughs> you had me at hello. <laughs> like, you know you have to take your pants completely off to sit on the toilet backwards. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right. So I don't research. It's a pre-shower shit, agreed? Can we move on, sticklers, to every joke detail? You ever have a post-shower shit? Oh, you might as well go back to bed, start your whole day over. <laughs> Things are wrong. That's not the order of events. There's a glitch in the matrix. This world's not real. Mom, wipe me. I recently started flat ironing my ball hair. Come on, ladies, you know how it is. If you have curly hair, you just want straight hair. <laughs> so now when people see my balls, like, oh my goodness, that looks really, really good. <laughs> Isn't that damaging to the hair? And I'm like, yeah, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> I wish Victoria Beckham would knock it off with all the cute dudes I can't keep up. My balls still have the 06 posh. Remember that little trendy little cut? Posh spice. Looks like my testicles. Okay. Am I the only person that hopes David Beckham has sex with Brad Pitt? I don't know who's in charge of casting in Hollywood, but make it happen before one of them's out of their prime. Can you imagine those two men together making love? Oh. If there's a man in here that's junk, doesn't wiggle just a little bit at the thought of those two men together. This has nothing to do with your homophobic sexual preference. At that level, it's art, you monkey, okay? <laughs> you should be honored that you share the same restroom with those Greek gods. Can you imagine if they had a child? Oh. The f was that Simba? What the fuck, was that Simba? That's the Beckham Pit kid? That's Pit cum? The most beautiful child the world has ever seen? Picture baby Jesus with better abs. That's a good looking baby. If they had a baby Abercrombie store, they'd hire him to work the front door, right? Just stand there, shirtless, propped up. He can't stand yet. Just leaning against the wall. Big poster, big poster of himself. Just standing in little tight pampers. And you'd walk in and you'd be like, I don't want to say this but I want to fuck that baby. <laughs> oh, man, do I want to fuck that baby. If I had three wishes, two of them be to fuck that baby, and one would be for more wishes. <laughs> well, you can't do that. Then I want to fuck the baby a third time. I would like to use all three wishes banging that baby. <laughs> Go ahead, dumb people. Be offended by a joke that doesn't have a plausible premise. I'd love to read your email. I felt you went over the line a bit when you theoretically wanted to fornicate with a mythical child. <laughs> Heads up, Mormons, this joke's gonna sting. <laughs> Next time a golden plate falls from the heavens, go ahead and put it in your spam file. Let's not base your entire life on a religion that's old enough for my dad to be like, oh yeah, that's not true. Uh, that didn't happen. I don't know why they're wearing their pajamas under their clothes. I assume their God wants them to be comfy. The Mormon church spent $20 million last year uh, in the state of California making sure queers didn't legally get married. Successfully, I might add. So I guess we're not as liberal as we all thought. And this is what I say to the most conservative person that's so terrified of gay marriage becoming legal. Just because the state says it's legal, it's not like God's gonna let him into heaven. <laughs> okay? So you can still sleep sound every night knowing that goal line defense is up at the pearly gates just going, oh. You're not getting in here, faggots. Oh, 
So I was walking into Whole Foods recently. I don't grocery shop there, it's too expensive, but I love the smell of lavender, so it's where I get my laundry detergent. <laughs> Normally when you walk into a Whole Foods, there's somebody outside of the clipboard like, hey, you want to help pandas keep getting boners? <laughs> <laughs> On this day, it was like, hey, you want to help overturn Prop 8? And I'm like, huh. Ah. I just wanted to shop. I didn't, ah. But I noticed there was a really old lady walking in behind me, and I wanted to make sure she was asked as well, like that I wasn't profiled. This guy's queer, he'll help. <laughs> And sure enough, she asked, ma'am, do you want to help overturn Prop 8? And she's like, oh. I'm like, explain it to her. It's <laughs> to make gay marriage legal in the state of California. She's like, oh. And I can just see 80 or 90 years of sexist, racist shit that she's had to put up with go round and round. I'm praying she falls over dead. Like, oh, carpet munchers, no. <laughs> None of which happened. She signed it. I'm an asshole. <laughs> do you remember the commercials they ran? It was a little girl that came running home from school, uh, and uh, she'd be like, Mommy, 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 the teacher said when I get older, I can marry a princess if I want to. And they're like, what are you going to do when your kid says that? <laughs> and every parent in California is like, whoa, we're going to have to talk to our kids? Sorry, queers. Nope. <laughs> yeah. That's Esperanza's job. <laughs> so I want to hire the same little girl to do commercials for me in the state of Utah. And I want her to come running home and be like, Mommy, 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 how come you're nine years older than me? <laughs> yeah, because we learned math and this doesn't add up. <laughs> mommy, 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 Mommy. She's calling out to all of her mothers. <laughs> and they start coming out of the cabinets in their little house in the prairie outfits, trying to explain how open-minded they really are. Compared to who, the Amish? <laughs> Am I the only person that blames global warming entirely on the Amish? Are they not a constant reminder of how awful life would be without all this great technology? <laughs> Every time I want to cut back and conserve on natural resources, I just look at the Amish and I'm like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> Fill it up. Fill it up. No, no. I'm not going to ride around in a buggy. It's bad enough I have a four-cylinder. But I would like a fireless fireplace. I don't know how you did it, Amish. Apparently, you partnered up with the Wiccans because that is magical. <laughs> you know the economy's in the toilet when the Amish can afford full-page ads in every paper. <laughs> Apparently, butter is recession-proof. <laughs> Does anyone in here know what I'm even talking about at this point? The, the Amish, they make this fireplace that doesn't plug in. There's no fire, but it's pumping out heat. I assume there's a hamster and they're losing his mind. <laughs> it's no Snuggie, but it's a great product. Yeah, somebody bought me a Snuggie as a joke gift. Ha, the joke's on you. I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, no, I toss and turn at night. Finally, a blanket that's like, nah, -uh, I'm gonna keep you warm. <laughs> it's like having a small child with polio keep you in a full Nelson the perfect pressure. What upset me about the gift is that's all I received was one sage green Snuggie. When in fact, I know it comes with two Snuggies and two book lights. Those are $20 values. Where the hell is the rest of my gift? Yeah. You have until Christmas or I'm coming to your house and ripping three quarters of your fat head off your wall. Not Big Ben. Yeah. Ben shouldn't be in the bathroom with anyone. Ben Roethlisberger is Tim Tebow minus Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of quarterbacks, uh, Brett Favre, I love that everybody gave him so much grief to retire. Are you kidding? First of all, you want me to fix the economy? Because I can. It's very simple. Here's what you got to do. You got to be prepared to work really hard your entire life and eventually die. And it's the latter that, that, that's the biggest problem. No one dies. People live forever. People get to retire at 65. That was an age that was set when people would die at 66, 66 and a half. People live forever now, and our economy can't afford that. It was, I don't even know how old my grandparents are, but I know that they should be dead. <laughs> and trust me, they don't want to be alive either. There's not a welcome mat at their front unit in Naples, Florida. There's a do not resuscitate nailed to their door. I'm not making that up. 
Yeah, if you knock on my grandparents' house and you see one of them lying on the floor, the only thing legally you are allowed to do is a finishing move. Hadouken! <laughs> that would be mine. Brett Favre should retire. Are you out of your mind? He makes $12 million a year to play a game. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing. Hey, Brett, the whole world thinks you should retire. You said 12 million, right? Yeah, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> I would never quit. Are you kidding me? What about in four years? He's not good enough to be a starter, but he could be a backup in the NFL. Do you know what that pays? About four to five million. Oh, yep, I'm gonna do that. How about 10 years? Not good enough to be a backup, but he could be on the practice squad. Do you know what that pays? About 850,000. Oh, uh, yep, I'm gonna do that as well. I'll play forever. It'd make the game more enjoyable. If people weren't allowed to retire, athletes don't want to quit either. See some 70-year-old return a punt? <laughs> he gets hit, he explodes, he dies on the field with some honor. <laughs> yeah, and sports needs steroids. It does, are you kidding me? Oh, baseball, certainly. Baseball's a strike away from being soccer. <laughs> yeah, and if you like soccer, well, welcome to America. See, our country already has entertainment, so watching people chase a ball for four hours to end 0-0 is not enjoyable unless, of course, the bleachers collapse and half of Europe dies. <laughs> or you're watching that girl from the University of New Mexico. She seems pretty competitive. You remember her? She was yanking people down by the hair, kicking chicks in the pussy. Uh, I can only assume her father had a bunch of gambling debt and everything was riding on that game. And she's out there, I'm doing this for you, Pa. <laughs> or she really hates Mormons, one or the other. <laughs> Pretty sure they were playing BYU. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baseball. Nobody wants to watch a pitching battle either. Let's hit the ball deep. Don't worry about your records either. For every superstar that's done steroids, a billion double A boys have juiced up. So the playing field is plenty even. We'll put an asterisk next to Barry Bonds' name, sure. As soon as we put one next to Babe Ruth's name. Getting to break records before black people were allowed to play? <laughs> Excuse me? Where is that asterisk? Why don't people talk about that? Oh, I'd love to know how many homers the Babe would have hit had CeCe been throwing them 92 mile hour sliders. Yeah, maybe the fat boy would have put the cigar down and quit pointing had Jose been allowed to swim 90 miles to throw him a junk ball. <laughs> don't worry if you don't follow. 90 miles is the distance from Key West to Cuba. Jose is a stereotypical name for a Latino ball player, and a junk ball is an impossible pitch to hit yard any place except for the new Yankee Stadium, which is a joke. <laughs> the point is the record books might look a little different had our country not been founded by racists. That's all. And I love that in 2010, you're still not allowed to shit on the Founding Fathers. Why not? <laughs> Screw them. They were a bunch of racist fucking pigs with a handful of good ideas. I just hope when they were signing the Declaration of Independence, they shot each other a glance. All men are created equal. You know what we mean. <laughs> <laughs> now get me some hot coffee, boy. <laughs> oh, at least we're not women, right, fellas? <laughs> Jeez. What is that like? Is it horrible? Is it awful to know you're number two? <laughs> By the way, these aren't my beliefs. It's my observations on the world I live in. If it changes, I'll adjust the material accordingly. <laughs> oh. I like it when you try to rationalize it. No, it's great being a woman. Free drinks is worth not having equality. Listen, you're in a great country to be number two, because at least in America, it's close, right? Men are here, women are here. Some countries, it's like this, and house cat is right there. <laughs> oh, that is a bad country to be a woman in. Don't get lost in a hike there. You'll end up on YouTube without a head, and there's no web redemption for that. I do think we can be a little less PC when it comes to sports, though. Just once I want to hear an announcer go, God, black people are fast. <laughs> Holy cow, all of them, they're fast. Back to you, Bob.
Why don't we say that? We're all the same species, got it. If I'm at a horse track and I see him cramming a Clydesdale in gate three, uh, I'm not gonna put my money on it. <laughs> gonna bet on the thoroughbred. Preferably one from Jamaica. <laughs> They've got wheels. I don't like Stuart Scott on Sports Center. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's a black gentleman that graduated from UNC with almost perfect grades, uh, yet feels the need to talk hip hop for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> While he's calling plays, and he'll be like, booyah. <laughs> Easy, Stuart. <laughs> First of all, I have more street cred than you. <laughs> Second of all, I have HD television and you have one eye. <laughs> yeah. That's grossing me out. It's eight in the morning, I mean Eggos, I don't want to see Cyclops struggling with a teleprompter. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Take that to the UK where they embrace ugly people on television. Not here in America, you circus freak. <laughs> yeah. Next time you want to catch passes on the sideline, use your hands. Don't let it come to the body. You learn that in Pop Warner. <laughs> I'm aware that I could end the joke at the good part. <laughs> I choose not to. Gave a commencement speech recently at a high school, and that didn't go well at all. <laughs> a bunch of high school kids, parents that are proud of them, and I'm belittling the entire thing. And the administration got really upset with me. They're like, oh, uh, we didn't know you weren't gonna take it seriously. Uh, to which I replied, really? <laughs> you thought this was where I was gonna get serious? High school, how did you do it? <laughs> no, I refused to give that generic speech. As I look out here, I see future lawyers and doctors. I gave the real speech. There's felons here. <laughs> Some of you will die in a DUI accident tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Explain to me why a dose of reality before community college is a bad thing. <laughs> because I certainly don't need to pander to the 1%. They don't need my little pep rally. They're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Nobody's been a pile of shit their entire life and then turned it around because of the commencement address. <laughs> Excuse me? No. no, no, it just clicked. So you're saying I can be anything? <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds way better than what I was gonna do. <laughs> I like this guy. Don't you love it when people in school are like, I'm a bad test taker. You mean you're stupid. <laughs> Oh, you struggle with that part where we find out what you know? Oh. No, no, I can totally relate. See, because I'm a brilliant painter, minus my god-awful brush strokes. Oh, how the masterpiece is crystal up here, but once paint hits canvas, I develop Parkinson's. I apologize if there's a Parkinson's painter here this evening. I assume your best work is in the AM. Probably gets a bit abstract by noon. Hang in there, it gets worse. <laughs> you ever hear this expression, the worst day of fishing is better than the best day at work? Uh, I'll call BS. <laughs> I've watched the deadliest catch on Discovery. I've never once been at work, capsized into 40 degree water, watched all my coworkers die, and be like, hey, at least we're fucking fishing. <laughs> huh? Am I right, criminals? I mean, crew? Yeah. Your valedictorian's not on that ship. Unless, of course, he just murdered his wife in Cancun. Uh, then maybe, then maybe. I don't know. Did Chris Brown beat Rihanna, or did Rihanna get too close while Chris was dancing? I don't know. I wasn't there. What I do know from watching Chris's music videos over and over is this guy loves to jump up and do a roundhouse kick for absolutely no reason at all. Maybe he was just stomping the yard and accidentally caught some of that horrible hairdo. There's no excuse for domestic violence. It sounds like a challenge. I mean, does everything have to be so black and white in this kindergarten country of ours? There's no excuse. What if you come home from a long day at work and your wife has drowned two of your kids? She's about to dunk the third one. Can you run over and pop her then? Unfortunately, no, there's no excuse. Gonna have to let her drown that third one. 
What if you ask her to DVR the game, but she forgets to record the half hour show afterwards just in case it goes into overtime? The point is there's a gray area. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure my girlfriend found mine about two weeks ago. <laughs> I asked her to record the game on ESPN, which she did, but not ESPN HD. And then she says, well, at least you still get to watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I pay extra money so I can watch TV like poor people. I don't even feel bad for cheating on you this weekend. We have a rule in my house. If I'm ashamed, it doesn't count. You gotta plow a four to appreciate an eight. That's my mantra. Yeah. I'll come home from a road trip and be like, you are so beautiful. She's like, oh, you must have been with a pig this weekend. I don't cheat on her. It's a joke. Don't get me wrong, I hate my girlfriend. I hate being in a relationship, but I'm faithful. That's the rule. You want your relationship to work, you have to be faithful. Uh, uh, Tiger Woods, Jesse James, they thought they were above that simple rule. They're not. Nobody is. And you can't explain it to women either. Like, my, my girlfriend's like, oh my goodness, like you really want to hook up with some skank? Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's not you versus skank, honey. It's you versus every skank. <laughs> Do you see how the scale shifts in the other direction at that point? It's like she's a mighty Spartan warrior, but there's all these Persian whores <laughs> that will eventually kill her. She gets the message. <laughs> Cannot believe Jesse James cheated on Sandra Bullock. Who could have ever guessed that Jesse James would not take vows to the Lord seriously. I mean, whoa, did that come out of nowhere. Sure, wife number two used to receive bukkake for money, but this guy seems like he was a real straight shooter. And the women, the women that he hooked up with are covered in tattoos. Oh, it's so repulsive. I like when people act shocked because somebody has tattoos all over it. Why would you do that? What do you think you're going to look like at 90? Nobody that's covered in tattoos will ever live to see 90. <laughs> You've never been struggling with life's problems. I'm like, you know who I should talk to? That wise old man that has a snake coiled around his neck. <laughs> if ever there was a man that was batting 1,000 in life, it's the guy that has a spider permanently on his fucking face. <laughs> I hate tattoos. That being said, I have a few. <laughs> Every year on my birthday, I get a small dash on my inner thigh where my balls currently hang. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not gonna be a beautiful work of art when it's finished. My grandkids are playing with my balls. They can't figure it out. They're what the hell are these things? I'm like, it's your future. Read the chart. They don't stop growing, they're like earlobes. <laughs> that joke was inspired by a door that wasn't locked when I was 11. <laughs> I did love the movie The Blind Side. Man, that was inspiring. So much so that now whenever I'm driving my car and I see a black person walking on the side of the road, I pull up right next to him, roll the window down, keep it locked, I'm not silly. <laughs> Check their 40 time. If it's under 4-3, I'm like, get in the car. Like, I'm not homeless. Get in the car. I'm your new father. <laughs> Wasn't that the message to the movie? That kidnapping can be profitable? <laughs> How about those Winter Olympics? They were exciting, weren't they? Finally, we got to figure out which country can slide down a hill faster. <laughs> oh, not Georgia. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Big luge fans are you here in San Fran? <laughs> Take that luge seriously, don't you? If I know San Francisco like I think I do, it's that you love sourdough and luge. <laughs> the Winter Olympics are pointless. 
I'll say it. Are you kidding me? I assume the only reason we have them is so white people feel relevant in sports. <laughs> because other than that, the only thing the Winter Olympics show me is which country has more rich white kids? <laughs> What's it cost to go skiing? $900 a day? Oh, I can't believe that's not more popular in the inner cities. <laughs> mm. Hey, Latrell, you want to play basketball today? No, man, I'm going to Breckenridge. Oh, Lottie Uncle Tom Da. Latrell's going to Breckenridge. I hate the summer games for that matter. I just don't want parents to be rewarded for encouraging their kids to forfeit their entire childhood perfecting a sport no one cares about for three years and 11 months at a time. Then for one month, I gotta act as if the vault affects my patriotism. It doesn't. I hope you missed the jump and ribcage it. Yeah. Do that for old glory. Enjoy your eating disorder. Ask your mom why you stopped growing at 4-3. And remember, every guy says hammer toe's a deal breaker. I'm not touching your feet, Mary Lou. They're disgusting. <laughs> and how bad is that medal ceremony? Oh, it's horrible. I hate our fucking anthem. The national anthem blows. Are you kidding me? Do any of you have it on your iPod? <laughs> what are you listening to? Oh, the national anthem. I love it. It just really gets me jazzed up. <laughs> I want my own country. If one of my athletes medals, oh, oh, it's going to be great. Because my national anthem is going to be 32 minutes long. <laughs> just so bronze and silver go, what the fuck? <laughs> How long is this? It's like, knock it off, losers. You're being very disrespectful. <laughs> There's a nine-minute guitar solo coming. <laughs> Was that November rain? I don't know what's more embarrassing in this country, that Michael Phelps fell from the graces for smoking marijuana, or that you looked up to a swimmer in the first place. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Swimming? You mean that thing you instinctively do before you die? Yeah, but he's really fast. It's pretty heroic. The first thing Michael Phelps should have done when that photo came out was call Kobe Bryant's publicist. Because Kobe was accused of rape, and all he had to do was settle in civil court for millions of dollars, change his jersey number, win a championship, and that soulless town in L.A. couldn't be prouder. <laughs> yeah, I just hope when parents let their kids run around in number 24 jerseys, they have the decency to be like, well, come on, number eight was the rapist. <laughs> 24 just has a great work ethic and an unblockable turnaround. Michael Phelps. He won 13 gold medals in Beijing, which I'm told is a lot. <laughs> Wait till he competes in the Special Olympics because he will clean up. <laughs> and yeah, he'll get in. He has an underbite. That's a sign of downs. <laughs> How is that guy shattering world records with that mouth filling with water on every stroke? <sighs> <sighs> Knock it off with shaving your balls and orthodontist could get three seconds off your best time. And I don't know all the rules to your sport, but I'm pretty sure your ears can't paddle. <laughs> and then what did we do? We awarded him 50 most beautiful. I can only assume we were doing a neck down issue. <laughs> Let me guess, Fergie was on the cover? Oh, cause she's fugly. <laughs> you ever seen her? No one has. Cameras hold on her about that long before record sales dip. You mean she can't sing and she's ugly? Thanks for ruining the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Some of you still like them? That's because you're 2000 and late. <laughs> I've got a feeling. <laughs> Kangaroos can't hop backwards. <laughs> it's not very funny, but you learn something. <laughs> I don't care how drunk you get tonight, you will never forget that. You'll be in Australia nine years from now. Your friend will get attacked by a kangaroo and you'll instinctively yell, get behind him. <laughs> like, how did I know to say that? How did I know to say that? Am I a wizard? Have I always been a wizard? Well, then why don't I have a demon? <laughs> I love Snapple facts. I wish they would hire me. I'd give them facts, they'd be silly. Like, babies aren't dishwasher safe. People be like, oh my goodness, who doesn't know this? Well, I guess if they keep one baby out of the dishwasher, they're doing a good thing over there. 
Thanks, Summer Peach. <laughs> I prefer the teas. <laughs> this is my impression of Johnny Depp before he leaves his house at night. If you don't know, Johnny Depp's 48 years old. I assume it goes like this. Hold on, guys, I'll be right with you. I have to put on another bracelet. I only have six on. I want to wear seven tonight. <laughs> now, I know you're in a hurry, but I have to make sure my belt is askew and my handkerchief is just so because I'm almost 50 and I love accessories. <laughs> cool should have a cutoff and my vote is 48. <laughs> the TV show Intervention is like punked for junkies. <laughs> I like watching movies on DVD. I don't need all the extras. I don't need to see alternate endings. They're never that different. There's longer, a few more swear words, and a boob that the general public couldn't handle. <laughs> if you're gonna give me alternate endings, you better blow me away. Let me watch The Mighty Ducks with my nephew. Yeah, we watch the alternate ending, where they lose the hockey game. Then they go back to the locker room, they start doing blow and jerking off on each other. <laughs> Emilio's dead in the shower. You're like, holy cow. Whoa. Did you see the alternate ending? No, no, no. They went in a completely <laughs> different direction. I think Disney was smart with the original. That alternate ending was a little too heavy for the kids. That's Disney always sneaking in subliminal stuff in our movies. Did you know there's a penis on the Little Mermaid box? You try to draw Ariel for six months and not put a dick somewhere. <laughs> God, I love that fish half. Liberal. You ever have somebody close to you die and you're like, oh, the last thing I said to them was, I hope you get dick cancer. <laughs> right, that's an awful last thing to have said. That's why I don't say it anymore. <laughs> it's just not worth it. I don't see my mother very often, but when I do, oh, I make sure I end every conversation with something so profound, just in the off chance that she does kick the bucket, I can still have a relatively decent weekend. <laughs> right, but it's hard, because she will ramble on the phone forever about nothing. Daniel, I just finished a 500-piece puzzle, and you won't believe this, I did the corners last. <laughs> I will believe it, and I gotta go, but... I want you to know that you're a rose in a field of daisies. <laughs> and she's like, I want you to know that you can come out of the closet any day now. <laughs> Easy, whore. I don't say that. Then my brother would get everything. <laughs> a little girl was killed in my neighborhood recently, uh, which is sad, but it happens. Not usually in white neighborhoods, but it happens. <laughs> I think there's a pie chart that proves that somewhere. Small sliver, safer. <laughs> she was killed on a street where people have been complaining for years that cars drive too fast. So reactive in nature as everyone is, after the horrible accident, they had a bunch of speed bumps put in. And I thought, wow, what a horrible way for their family to remember every time they drive down that road. <laughs> 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 Natalie! <laughs> Your mother and I miss you so much. But you are really doing a number on our suspension. No, honey, I told you we should have leased this car. Even in the afterlife, she makes us fight. Good riddance. Yeah, you see what happened there? In the beginning of this made-up story, you felt bad for the family. Now at the end, you realize they weren't fit parents to begin with. We've all grown. Let's move on to some nonfiction. Do you remember? When that kid was killed at Six Flags, had his head cut off by the roller coaster? Oh, man. The first thing that went through my mind was, wow, how am I going to make this funny for everybody? <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> yeah, if you don't remember the story, he was on a church youth group. He was on a roller coaster ride. His hat blew off. After the ride was over, he's like, I'm going to go get my hat. And there was a big fence with signs on it that probably said, hey, cut your losses. <laughs> and he's like, what? Have you seen me in that hat? <laughs> Not today, fence. And he went over it. And there was a second fence with more signs. Like, come on, knock it off. <laughs> He's like, you can't tell me how to live, signs. And he went over that fence. And on the other side, the story ends. Did he get the hat? I'd like to think he did. <laughs> right? A small silver lining. Like, I told you I'd get it. And then whack, right then. And I know he was on a church youth group and they don't believe in evolution, but that kid was getting picked off sooner or later. Yeah. 
happening. And if I were a family member, I'd say 15 years is a pretty good run. But then again, I'm half full. The real story, which nobody talks about until now, is how he was decapitated. It was a suspension roller coaster, young lady, 25 years old. Her leg is what decapitated him. Shattered her leg in over eight places. She had to have three surgeries and wear a cast for over a year. I don't know if you've ever worn a cast or not, but everybody and their mother will come up to you and be like, how did you break your leg? <laughs> she gets to be like, I fucking punted a guy's head 90 yards. <laughs> yeah, top that, Janikowski. Oh, finally a Raider reference that doesn't involve sucking. <laughs> People have always told me I have a sick sense of humor. What do you say to that? I assume it's relative. Who are you comparing me to? Carrot Top? Then yeah, I'm a little blue. To my circle of friends, I'm tame. My sister's off the charts. I play practical jokes on her constantly, though. I got her so good a few weeks ago. I replaced her pepper spray with silly string. <laughs> anyway, that night, she got raped. And she called me the next day going, you son of a bitch. You got me so good. No, 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 no. As soon as I started spraying in the face, I'm like, Daniel, this is gonna really hurt. Hot pocket. <laughs> That's how that joke ends. I had another comic friend of mine finish it. <laughs> I hate rain. I understand the necessity for it. But when I walk outside, I prefer it to be sunny. That's why I love California so much. Oh. And I think it's because I wear a 35 inseam when I'm clearly a 34. But I've always liked my pants long in the back. I like them to hit the ground, naturally fray over time, but when it rains, oh. Am I right? The fray gets wet, then the pant leg goes up much higher than anything I ever stepped in. I just look down, I'm like, ah! Is this what the people in New Orleans went through? Because this is awful. Had I known it was that bad, maybe I would have helped. Next time, Trina too, I'm your savior. Do they name storms like sequels in movies? Because they should. Trina too, God's still crying. You want help? Don't invest in property value that's below sea level. You're welcome. Learn that one on property virgins. Thanks, Sandra. Is there an upside to wildfires here in California? Yeah. How about when you walk outside and you're like, who's having a barbecue? I'm so hungry. Oh, that's just my neighbor losing their memories. <laughs> but I still want barbecue. <laughs> what two sides would I get? I think coleslaw baked beans. No, 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 mac and cheese, mac and cheese. Ah, I want three sides. <laughs> People always assume I'm a bleeding heart liberal. What? I'm conservative on almost all the key issues. I hate the poor. I've said that forever. We need help. Yeah, we've heard. <laughs> and some of you know I have a charity, but I did that for tax purposes. <laughs> if you're not familiar with it, it's called Fabrizing the Homeless. <laughs> no, it's not what some of you think. What I do, I go around and I Febreze homeless people. <laughs> Is that what you thought it was? Well, this isn't a game show. It's nice. Who would you give a dollar to? The guy that smells like liquid garbage or ocean breeze? It's a no-brainer. You're going to make it rain on number two. Make it rain. Thank you, rap community, for continuing to keep women in their place. He said with heavy sarcasm. If you don't know, it's when you throw cash on the hose. I came up with my own expression. I like to make it hail. Yeah. That's when you throw change on sluts. Are those nickels? Yeah, it's a down economy. I'm a baller on a budget, bitch. You see that? You see that? Keep an open hand. That'll keep you out of prison. 
I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Just in case anybody goes home tonight and decides to beat the shit out of their... I kept an open hand. <laughs> Your Honor, the comedian clearly stated. <laughs> Death penalty? I go conservative. Kill him. I don't care. <laughs> the argument against is silly. Oh, what if you put to death an innocent man? To that I say, good. It's worked out in the past. Am I right, Christians? John 3, 16. <laughs> That's not an O. That's the story. <laughs> an innocent man took the bullet so we could live horrible lives, apologize at the end, and get in for free. <laughs> I read the cliff notes. You can moan all you want. That is spot-on accurate. <laughs> Some issues I go a little left on. Uh, I heart abortion, fine. Where's that t-shirt, Urban Outfitters? I'll buy one. Large, pre-shrunk, cotton poly blend, overpriced, but very soft. Just says, I heart abortion. Not a regular heart, an unborn fetus heart. That has been vacuumed out. Look at it. But it's okay for them to stick it on a poster board, shove it to some kid's face that's making the toughest decision of her life, but I embrace it and I'm the a-hole? Got it. What's the back of the shirt say? Problem solved. <laughs> Says, go back to being selfish. Your life's not over just yet. Don't have to take all those failed dreams and cram them down somebody else's throat. Back of the shirt's long. People may bump into you. Like, sorry, I was reading that horrible shirt. Where are you headed? Sarah Palin's house. The Octomom, Kate plus eight. Anybody that's had a litter of children. I hope the courts take them and they staple your vagina closed. <laughs> Seriously, holy cow. What's her name? Had six children. Then she had eight more, which equals, I'm not Asian, but I know it's a big number. Uh, do I hit, do I stay? Does it matter what the dealer has? We think she had eight. Who knows that they finished vacuuming out her vagina? I can only assume her labor involved in those golf ball retriever rakes that you blindly throw into the dirty pond and skim the floor. And you're like, look, an orange one. Women can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> and these ladies are single. Fellas, be careful who you're pumping drinks into at a bar. You know, when you're talking out your ass, oh, I'd love to have a family someday. She's like, really? Look outside. You see those four minivans idling? They're all mine. They're filled with our dreams. They want money. You know who should sponsor those women? Uh, eHarmony. Because if they can pair them, that's a pretty good sight. Yeah, according to your profile, you would be a perfect match for a rabbit. <laughs> would you like to meet Easter? Or Bugs? Or Thumper? Or Trix? Or Velveteen? Or Roger? Or Playboy? Or VW? Or Eminem from 8 Mile, Small Vibrator, Energizer. I don't, I'm out. I'm out. It's all the rabbits I got. Okay. Okay. It's not going to make the show. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. You ever ask your parents when you're younger, who do you love more, Mom? And she's like, I love you guys the same. You walk away okay with it. You've heard of a tie between two people. What is the Octomom going to do? There's no way a 14-way tie is believable. She's going to have to be honest. Who do I love more? Let's see. Four, you're retarded, so you're out. Now <laughs> let's focus on kids that have eyelids. Uh, is this the joke that's too far? Just want to make sure. Everybody was fine with my sister getting raped, right? Okay. <laughs> but this one. Speaking of awful parents, Joe Jackson deserves a Lifetime Achievement Award. Holy cow. I like when people acted shocked that Michael died. Are you kidding me? Michael was on borrowed time as soon as he switched races. <laughs> Don't act so sad over his death. Are you kidding me? There's a reason. There's a reason his reunion tour was in London. Nobody in America wants to watch a 50-year-old man scoot backwards. But oh, that parenting debate, to spank your kid or not to spank your kid, because Joe shows you, yeah, you can in fact beat your child to greatness. <laughs> oh, but the thin red line you tow. 
because you want to hit him enough that he has the creative angst to one day give you the Thriller album, but not so much that he fucks children. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ready for kids. I just don't know if I could make that distinction. Was that too hard? <laughs> oh. How come when people say worst case scenario, it's clearly not? Like you could always add, and then a roller coaster cut my head off. <laughs> I have a new TV show coming out that I'm really hyped about. Uh, it's called The Vagina Whisperer, <laughs> co produced by Caesar Milan. For people that are having trouble in the bedroom, I come over, I watch you and your partner make love, I make sure the vagina is in a calm, submissive state <laughs> by constantly going ch, 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 ch. Now I have a Mexican mother as well. <laughs> then I ask you to step aside, I show you how I would do it. <laughs> then the last 58 minutes or so is me apologizing, trying to tell you this never happens and recommending that we put this vagina down. <laughs> I don't think it's safe to bring home to my pack. <laughs> I was making love to this girl recently. Let's say she's 19. <laughs> There's no bouncer in my bedroom. You're in. <laughs> she says to me during the act of lovemaking, hey, Daniel, what's it like having sex with a condom on? And I'm like, how should I know? <laughs> I didn't say that. We need time machines. What I said was way less romantic. I said, oh, ooh. it's a lot like picking up dog shit with a bag. <laughs> Which I thought then and think now is a spot on analogy. Like, you know there's dog poo in your hand, but you don't freak out. <laughs> Barack Obama went with a Portuguese water dog. What? What a mistake. I was hoping so bad that he would adopt one of Michael Vick's dogs. What? Are you kidding me? How great would that be? Our first black president to walk out on the White House lawn with a pit bull. <laughs> Just take a gangster knee and pray the media doesn't write something racist. Like, uh, sleep tight, America. DMX has got our back. Barack Obama doesn't inspire me. No, George W. inspired me because I could look at him and be like, oh, I could do that. <laughs> Barack set the bar a little out of reach. Well, you want me to help in the community? That sounds horrible. <laughs> when do we get to be selfish again? That's the country I was born into. Sometimes when I'm out at night and I see a group of women, I like to walk up to them uh, and pretend that I'm a judge at a dog show. And I just go, hmm. Third, second, first. <laughs> In that order. They love it. They want to be judged. They spend a lot of time getting ready. There's not a girl in here that wouldn't like to go home tonight with a blue ribbon on. <laughs> Her friend's like, where did you get that ugly ribbon? Oh, some guy at the bar thought I won. <laughs> Katie didn't even place. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> If I see a really hot chick, I'll grab her by the crotch and the throat and be like, best in show. <laughs> Little heavy. Should have picked one from the toy group. <laughs> Big can be beautiful, okay? Just not to me. <laughs> I find you disgusting. Freshman 15 is not a life sentence. Okay. I know this is awkward right now for some of us. He wants us to eat healthy and exercise. What a jerk. <laughs> We're too fat. We're just too fat. I was on a plane recently that was delayed over three hours at the gate because they ran out of seatbelt extensions. <laughs> yeah. Like, they didn't have any more. They were out. Like, we had to wait for an inbound flight of fat people to, to get their seatbelt extensions to bring over to our flight. Do you even know what seatbelt extensions are? Seatbelts only go this big. Some people need an extra six and a half feet of nylon to strap in, as if any collision would unwedge them. 
You ever been on a flight and a bunch of virgin flyers applaud like morons after a successful landing? I always pray that those same people were on the U.S. Airways flight that landed in the Hudson River, and they just went, boo! <laughs> boo! What is this? It's supposed to be on land, you dick. <laughs> New York gets all the cool plane crashes. <laughs> all right, maybe cool's not the right word, but you know what I'm trying to say. I love that the modeling industry gets attacked for being too skinny. Really, America? You're not too big? Mm. Is something in your mouth? Mm. Do you know why they say that? That models are too skinny? It's because parents are horrible. They can't tell their 16-year-old daughter that she's not really a princess. Well, guess what? I can. If you're 16 years old and you think the only difference between you and Giselle is your waistline and not your busted face, <laughs> here's some advice. Fill up the Paxil because life is going to be really sad. <laughs> if you're walking around like, well, why am I not a supermodel yet? Who are you even looking at, Seabiscuit? <laughs> oh, I want to be a model. Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, start with your jawline. That's not gonna sell a lot of makeup in the magazines. But I'm skinny. You are a troll. <laughs> My advice, have a Twinkie, get real good at math, because life is not gonna be easy for you. I'm sorry if this is your wake-up call, but being an ugly woman is like being a man. You're gonna have to work. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, you guys.